Hi everyone, welcome back to Project Reactor Essentials. And in this video, we are going to start talking about flux. So, you know that mono uh, we are supposed to use when we would like to return a string of one or no elements, in this case, void. And now we are going to work with flux because flux is when you want to return more than one element, in this case, any elements. So, the first um, method that we are going to create here is a public void. And let's just follow the pattern that we have here. Just a simple subscriber, flux subscriber. Okay, so this is a test. And here we have to create a flux. So the same way as we have here on mono, we can just type flux dot just, and then we can send, for example, several words here. And the same way we can log the requests and then we can introduce a local variable that is a flux of string. Now, if we check step verifier dot create flux string, then dot expect next, we are expecting all these elements coming from this publisher. And then verify complete. So if we execute this method, we get here exactly the same on subscribe and then request unbounded and we have on next on next on next on next for all the elements we have in this publisher and then on complete is called so it's pretty similar to what we have uh, inside the mono now let's copy this uh, method and then we have here public uh, flux public void flux subscriber but let's change this to work with numbers so here will be an integer now and if you would like to create a range of numbers it's pretty simple we just change just to range and now you give start here one and finish you can give five for example so now when we subscribe we can expect here one two three four five and the same way you can create here another subscriber let's uh, change this to only flux flux dot subscribe and we can send a consumer log this is uh, going to be a number log dot info we forgot to set up for j here flux here log dot info number and this number and we can just use this log.info to separate the subscribers okay and then when we execute this one you will see one two three four five being executed so for this video that's it. Let's continue in the next one. See you.